It's been fifty years since the War of the Wilds, and still nothing grows on the Kindlelands. The exact day the flora of the world stood up and ravaged the cities of the Greynor Peninsula is lost to the ages. After the Great Fire tore its way from west to east, turning the land barren and fallow, the otherworldly patrons, the guides, and the great cities of the Kindlelands worked together in their own way to bring a kind of peace to a war-torn people. It is a gentle, delicate balance, and something or someone threatens it. Welcome to Another Path. My name is Chase, and I'll be your GM. Today, our heroes fight an unreasonable amount of harpies. As a reminder, the best way to support the show is to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash anotherpath, where we have a bunch of backer tiers such as a Discord channel, exclusive content, and on-air thanks for donating. Speaking of that, thank you to Cat and Shogun for their support. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy your trip down Another Path. All right, so Zach, you're drinking something terrible right now. Well, who said it was terrible? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I, I. What look, are you doing to your body? It's not your father's mountain's ale, and that seems like a poor idea. I think it's delightful. Okay. I mean, there's also okay. not your father's fruit punch now. There is. There is that. Now, see, I do have a mild Mountain Dew addiction, so. Okay. That's the the fair. fact I'm... that it transferred over to booze form only makes sense. Bruh, I'm waiting for a not your father's uh, diet cola. I mean, they've <laughs> got uh, Griffin, the final game in uh, Griffin's uh, IRL campaign coming up here on Sunday. So, yeah, I and I, I do play. know that they sell not your father's mountain ale in Tall Boys at the at the uh, carry out. Say so. what? <laughs> yeah, y'all. I turned 25 in a month. I turn twenty five and two in next weekend. Yeah, yeah I'm buddy. Six now. I'm gonna be thirty in June. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I love you, Chase. You gotta get in on that love thirty under thirty under thirty real quick, man. Yeah, yeah look, look, I, I'm not gonna. I, I, I'm not saying it's super important, but we really gotta nail this episode. I know. Okay, I'm sorry to come out. This so might time. be the last episode before my birthday, and. Well, what that was. well, you know, now that we, now that it's been a full fifty minutes since we started trying to record this episode, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Let's Please. let's go. Let's go. I think right. it's hilarious. Go. I'm so right. excited. I'm so excited. Let's go. <clears throat> Here we go. That's today a today. a nineteen plus zero. Nineteen plus three. Twenty two. Ooh. Elf Jackson is far quicker than Human Jackson. Twelve for Mordecai. Have fun rolling initiative for ten harpies. So here's the thing. This is the rule for how enemies work. All enemy types go on the same initiative. So all the harpies will go at the same time. I mean, they don't have to. They don't have to, but nobody wants me trying to manage ten individual initiatives. That's fair. Because that's dumb. Um, all right, so let's see here. Jackson. What I do have to do is keep track of 10 individual um, HPs, which is going to be interesting. That's what Microsoft Excel's for. Nah, I can do math. It's fine. I'm a banker now. That means I, ha- I can do math good, right? You have to. <laughs> <laughs> good news. Everything's just more tens. I mean, honestly, that's a big part of it. So the way that our initiative has broken down is we've got Jackson and Zephyr taking the lead, and then the Harpies and tailed up by Mordecai. Um, Man. All right. Jackson and Zephyr, what are the two of you doing? Are they in range? Where are they? Um, They are all flying right now. Towards us, assuming? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I'm going to look over to Zephyr. Right, uh, just like at the end, I'll run in and then you cover me. I don't think that's such and a I good go. idea. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> and I <laughs> and I go. Um, Classic. Yeah, so I'm gonna run forward. I'm a, wait. Fuck! I'm on a horse. I'm on a horse, motherfucker. Mounted combat. Um, this worked out well for you last time. Well, yeah, kind of. Okay, well, I'm going to ride forward, you know, about 
40 feet. Take up a position. Um, can I... Uh, and put myself, you know, make myself a very obvious first target. Sure. I would like to spend for Fighting Spirit. Okay. And here's a question, GM. Can I assume parry stance on a horse? I'll allow it. Okay, then I spend my reaction for parry, and then I would, and then I'm going to hold my attack for the first thing that comes into range. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, Zephyr, what are you doing? Or, I'm sorry, sorry. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hold my attack for the first thing that tries to get past me. Okay. Good distinction to make. Zephyr, what are you up to? Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do is cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Solid. So, so yeah, I uh, do a nice little swirly and, and a little ice armor forms around me. Um, what level are your spells now? Well, I mean, I'm going to use one of my level one bard spells for that, like bard spell slots. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, I get five temp hit points, and then um, if I take melee damage, they uh, they take five cold damage. And then I think I'm just going to trot forward, like get a nice distance away from Jackson, just so I can sort of help from a distance. But I'm going to mm-hmm. try to close the gap a little bit, um, and I'm just going to sit there and wait and just be ready. Okay. Um, I need all three of you to make me wisdom saving throws as we enter their turn. Oh boy. As they yeah, use their lure and song. 21. Okay. Um, tw- 17. 22. Okay. okay. 17 plus 5. The, uh, the harpies continue to sing as they launch their first true attack against you, but you're all able to shrug off their weird discordant song. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make some attacks now. Um, that's going to be, let's see here. I'm going to start off with two on Jackson. Bring it. Wow. I don't like shit. First one misses. Let's see here. Does a 20 hit your AC, Jackson? My AC is currently 19, so okay. yes. So one is going to hit. That is going to be... Let's take a look here. Uh, that is going to be uh, four bludgeoning damage on you so as t- it whacks a club at you. And I... Uh, so I take two. Okay. And a third one does try to get past you, but because uh, you held your action, you can go ahead and make your attack against it now. Sweet. I'm going to fuck this guy up. Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Well, it's a harpy, so it's probably a lady. All right. First one is a natural 20. Okay. Fuck this harpy and up. And he's back. <laughs> Here we go. All righty. So that is going to be 17 damage. Okay. Jesus I have rolled Christ. poorly on that crit. I was going to say. Uh, attack number two is... Uh, 22. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay, that is going to be... Ooh, max stamp, so that's uh, 15 more damage. Ouch. It doesn't look good. And those are my two attacks. I cannot action surge right now, so that's all it gets. All right, no Jackson surge for you. All right, so while you are <laughs> tangling with that one, three more do actually descend down. One is going to go after Mordecai. The other two are going to go after Zephyr. So Mordecai... It's trash, and don't be so sure. My AC is not that great. Let's take a look here. How's a 13? Just misses. My AC is 14. Okay. Well, that's the highest that I rolled on that, so bully for you. Okay. And a Zephyr. Okay. Let me do that. Uh, uh, that actually might get you. 14? Yeah, that, that, that gets me. That'll get you? All right. So that's going to be... Six damage against you for the first attack. All right. Um, was that melee? Yes. All right. They take five damage. Okay. Cold damage from my armor of Agathis. Oh, Agathis. Nice. Okay. It's a pretty cool spell. Yeah. That's a nice spell. And it lasts All for right. an hour, so anytime I get hit during this fight. Yeah. All right. And second attack is going to be a, a nine. That's not going to nope. do it. Okay, <laughs> and uh, second one is going to come up on you now. Do they still take cold damage even if they miss you? 
Uh, I think it's only if they deal me. They have to hit him. Yeah, I think they have, they to, have, deal have deal to deal damage. damage to me first. Okay, gotcha. And second one on you does get advantage because it's flanking. And a 19 and... Actually, two 19s will hit you if I'm correct. Okay. All right, a uh, total of 11 damage for you, Zach. And that'll take us to Mordecai. Okay. Um, I have one immediately on me, right? Yes, you do. Okay. I'm going to bonus action shift, giving myself uh, eight temporary hit points and plus one to okay. my AC. And I'm going to take the great axe off my back, and I'm going to make a reckless attack against it, giving myself advantage. I love it. That's a natural 20. Hey! Yeah! All right, there so we go. It's going to be 2d12 plus 5. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Toasty. 2d12 plus Oh, three. boy! Ooh. Those are some tasty numbers. That is 23 slashing damage. Oh, Ooh, you boy. You carve into this thing. 23s. And that's my entire turn. That is a that is a potent enough turn. You have you took this thing from full to well past bloodied in one swing. And just to remind you, GM, since I don't use reckless attack that often, anything that attacks me now gets advantage on me. Okay, thank you very much, Jackson. That's going to take us back up to you. Cool. So that takes it to me. So is the one that I hit still by me? Uh, yes. Okay. I uh, will make my first attack on him. Mm-hmm. Her? It? We'll go with it. It? I make my first <laughs> attack on it. 28? I'm going to be really mad if you don't kill this thing right now. <laughs> uh, that is 11 damage. You, as it comes back at you to take another swing, you swing your scythe around and you pull it towards you and its head just kind of stays where it was. And then I'm going to turn around and hit there's two more on me yes i'm gonna turn around and attack one of those okay 27 that'll do yeah buddy 14 damage ouch and so there's two on me one on mordecai and two on Saphir. yes and then there's a couple that are actually staying out of range for right now okay so i and then i turn myself enough i don't move but i turn myself enough to have line of sight with one of the two people, one of the two harpies on uh, Zephyr. Sure. And I'm going to Jackson Surge and cast Lightning Lure. Okay. Hey. Oh, yeah. That'll do. So one of those harpies needs to make a strength save. Okay. Not super good at that, but it's not a negative. I mean, it's not going to be a super high save they have to hit, so. What's the save? <laughs> the save is... 11. Welcome to me playing Bilga. They fail. Yay! Is this the first time this worked? No, I, you've used this once before. You used I, this in the big fight, in the last big fight we did. Yeah, you snagged someone on horseback. Oh, yeah, I did. So, I, so I, I'm, so i you know, one hand swinging at the guys in front of me, and I turn and uh, ar arm outstretched. My arm turns green in places as the vines light up, and the... Harpy is pulled towards me Excellent. in a straight line, and it will take five points of lightning damage. Okay, done. And I drop back down into Perry Stance again. All right, and uh, Zephyr, what are you doing? Uh, all right, so right now I only have the one on me, right? Correct. Um, cool. So I turn to the the harpy that is next to me, um, mm -hmm. and I look it in the eye. My eyes turn black okay and i cast dissonant whispers at third level um Ooh. so they need to make a wisdom save okay all the wisdom of harpy okay i have rolled an 18 you uh. you, you fucking suck <laughs> go home i already am we're recording remotely i'm just gonna hang out here and, and get beaten up more Okay. They don't take half or anything. No. Now, D dissonant whispers is kind of—it's not not the Oof. best spell in that fashion. All right. Um, 
Okay, so we're going to do three attacks, or three harpies on Jackson. Bring it. You won't. Okay. You are right now. I am in the process of. Uh, what's your AC, Jackson? Uh, right <laughs> now it is 19. Okay. Let's see here. First attack fa- or first RP fails utterly. Uh, second one is going to hit with, uh, both attacks. So that is going to be, um, uh, second one deals 10 damage total to you. Cool. I take all of it because fighting spirit has expired. Excellent. And third one is going to deal, let's take a look here. You said 19 still? 19. Okay. And the third one is only going to deal uh, three damage to you. Okay. Mordecai is going to take a single atta- uh, single harpy's worth of attacks. It has advantage. Um, let's see here. The first attack misses, but the second attack is going to be uh, a crit. Oof. Yeah. So, lay it on me. At least it wasn't the first attack, so that's only going to be four, <laughs> five, seven damage. Okay. We still got one temp HP to boot from shifting. Okay. And Zephyr, one attack, or one round of harpy attacks on you. That dice tower audio is real nice. Right? Uh, 17 will hit you, Zephyr. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Going to be three damage on you. Okay. Are you looking bad, Zephyr? Uh, I'm at 26. What's your max? Okay. Uh, 41. And I'm going rough. to need okay. you all to make me a wisdom saving throws again. Oh, God, please. <laughs> oh, no. This isn't one of those resist and we're good for a while situations. It is based on who is actually dealing the attack. 19. Gotcha. Yep. So we got 19. 22. 22. I've rolled a four. Okay. Oh. Oh, boy. Can I get advantage because I'm, like, super focused on my mission? (laughs) Nope. Nope. All right. So, Mordecai, you are momentarily transfixed by this song. You are charmed by the harpies and cannot take action against them. Son of a bitch. You can still help your companions, but you cannot take action against the harpies. Yeah. All of them or just the one that charmed him? For the purpose of this fight, all of them. Okay. Fair. And it's All my right, turn uh, now, right? It is, in fact. All right, so what are you doing? You can repeat the saving throw at the end of your turn. Am I able to ride over to Zephyr to drop a heal on him? You can. I, seeing that my, my very good friend Zephyr is uh, not enjoying the presence of these harpies like I am, um, I was like, he's a little <laughs> beaten up. It's like, if he feels a little better, maybe he'll... Uh, See that the harpies are friendly, like I have. So I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll over to Zephyr, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast a uh, a cure wounds. That's so mm-hmm. nice um, on Zephyr. Um. So that is ten hit points back for you, Zephyr. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Yeah, and I I kind of ride over and slide a hand under your shoulder, and is like, "Hey, check out these cool harpies. Pretty neat, huh?" Okay. As you're getting mauled by one. Yeah. Right. Uh, go ahead and make that uh, that saving throw there. A wisdom save. Uh, that's an unnatural 20. All right. Everyone is immune to harpy number seven. <laughs> I snap out. Uh, hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and that is going to take us back to the top of the round with Jackson. Right. Uh I'm going to hit the one that is currently hurt. Um, well, first things first, fighting spirit. Of course. I'm going to attack the one that is... Because there's three on me, and I've already hit one of them. Yep. I'm going to attack that one. You technically hit two of them, one with lightning lure, but you, okay. you're, you're I hit stabbing the, I hit one. The one I, the, I hit the one I've stabbed. Yep. Uh, 27 to hit. That'll do it. God damn. 10 damage. Okay. God damn. I said god damn. 
I'm going to do it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, 25 to hit. Yep. Howda, howda, howda. Only nine damage that time. Okay. It looks rough. Okay. Um, and then I'm still surrounded, so I'm still surrounded by all three, but this is better than it was. Yep. Uh, and I will, uh, again, just drop down into parry stance. Got shield, shield on one arm, mm-hmm. scythe in the other, just kind of eyeing up all the harpies around me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zephyr, you're up. Um, so I have the one on me still. Yep. We're going to try this one more time. Make a wisdom saving throw. What is my DC? 14. I fail. Yay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and deal you (laughs) 5d6 of psychic damage. Oh, boy. Roll that beautiful B footage. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so that's um, 6 plus 5, 11, plus 5, 16, plus 4, 20, plus 4, 24. Psychic damage. Nice. Oh, and shit. if they're not dead, they must flee from me as far as their movement will allow them for their reaction. All right. Those are some dissonant whispers. So yeah, I, ju- I, I, I try again. My eyes go black, and I just sort of focus more intently. Um... And just stare at the at, at the harpy. The one that was just singing at all of you uh, suddenly kind of freezes midair and then shoots directly up. Cool. Like, into the sky. Because I rode up next to Zephyr, do I get an opportunity attack against that one? Ooh. I'll allow it. Yeah. yeah. Kill him, nice. kill him, kill him. I'm gonna make it reckless. Fuck that little guy up. Ooh, yes. Uh, that is a 24. Oh, that'll definitely hit. Oh, God. Oh, no. Die down. I'll roll the other d12 I have. Max damage. That's 15 slashing damage. And nice. as this thing juts up to fly away, you swing... Uh, what weapon are you using nowadays? Great axe. This is, this is the new great, great axe. axe. Right. You swing that great axe up over your head and down, and you just... Bisect it. Nice. Woo! Yeah, hey. a- as you, st- like, when you finish your swing and sort of catch your axe, you look at back at Zephyr and he's still like, <sighs> head like shaking, like, <laughs> <laughs> just like, like, you ever watch Fievel Goes West? I, I have. You know, haven't. give him the lazy eye. <laughs> 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 just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the oh, fuck there's is a that? reference. That's a, that is oh. the deepest pull. Oh, that yeah. is Orkai's a good not raging, reference. But he's just going, what is if happening? There, if there's one thing you can trust Zach Rob for is to make really, really deep cut references. Okay, that is I need perhaps the all of you guys to roll seen. me wisdom saving throws. Sweet again. God, please. Thank you, Jesus. 13. 13? Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, you boys. all pass, and you are now all immune. Uh, oh, to, thank God! To Harpy Number Six's siren song. Oh God! If we <laughs> all failed that, yeah. it's per Harpy. So we're gonna go ahead. We've got uh, three rounds of attacks at advantage on Jackson. Let's see it happen, Captain. My AC is still nineteen. Okay, so. Harpy 1 is going to hit with all of its attacks. Okay. So I'm going to... 3, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Uh, first one deals 10 damage to total. 5. Mm-hmm. Uh, second attack only hits with its... Uh, second Harpy only hits with its first attack. So you're going to be looking at... Eight damage there. Four. And harpy number three is going to miss with its first attack and hit with its second. Okay. Two. One. Ting, 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 ting. All right. Yeah, Daxa gets a little beat up, but he's still standing strong. And Mordecai, you just did a reckless attack, didn't you? Yes, at advantage. So you're at advantage. Uh, let's see here. 
Uh, your are what is your AC? Uh, while shifted, fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. All right. So first attack is going to hit you. Uh, second attack will also hit you. Let's okay. roll these three d four. Eight damage total onto you. Total of eight. Is the fear one is going to fly down and join in the fight with you? Yeah. How many are left right now? Eight. You've got two on you right now. Oh boy. Oh yeah. It shouldn't I thought be I, flanking, I, thought I though, killed since them. I'm right up next to you. Yes, and then one. There were a couple that were flying above the battlefield, and oh, one gotcha. has joined down to 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 join up with you. Let's take a look here. Your arm, your AC is fourteen. Is that right? Mine is twelve. Yours is twelve. All right. Well, um, both of these attacks are going to hit you. Oh. Yeah. Twelve on the first one. Ooh. And the second harpy misses entirely. Good. Cool. I only gave one of them advantage because oh. you do have Mordecai with you. Yeah. Cool, cool. Speaking of Mordecai, it's your turn. Okay, there's one right up on us. Yep. Uh I'm gonna switch the axe into one hand, and in my off hand I'm gonna Summon up a little bit of fiend fire, and I'm going to cast Produce okay. Flame and shove it into this Harpy's Grill. That's going to be a spell attack from me. Okay. Uh, 17 to hit. That'll hit. Cool. So that's going to be two, since I'm, uh, character level is beyond level five. Uh, that's going to be 2d8 plus 1d4 <laughs> from my Excellent. fiend, from my wanderer powers. Hell yeah. Ooh. Doggy. Um, eight, 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 15 points of fire damage straight Ouch, to that harpy's gee. grill. And you pop this up into that harpy's grill yeah. and it disintegrates in front of your hand. It had yeah. exactly 15 HP. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think it's the first thing I've killed with Produced Flame. I, I think it. so. Um, Jackson, you're up. Still got three on me? Yep. All right. I'm going to finally kill this uh, this one. Probably. Uh, should be dead. Um, yeah, still at Jackson, advantage. Jackson's surrounded by three while fucking Zephyr and I are tangling with two, and we're just like, he's fine. He's got it. T- 25. That'll hit. 13 damage. It dead. It dead. <laughs> All right. I'm going to... T- and then I turn to the one that I uh, lightning lord over. Mm-hmm. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Shaboy! Uh, 22. Hot damn. It is looking rough. You've taken this thing down to bloodied and... If it had been at full health, it still would have been in bloodied. I just smile <laughs> a little bit, set my feet, and just do a come at me bro motion at it. Take Perry Sance again. Okay. Uh, let's take a look here. Zephyr, what are you doing? Um, well, first and foremost, I would like to go, like, back to back with Mordecai. Okay. And be like, I've got you, pal. Uh, and with that, I want to give, uh, for a bonus action, give you some bardic inspiration there, bud. Hey! Um, and here's a question. So, since I'm, like, right there with Mordecai, if I cast Sword Burst, would that be something that would hit him? Yes. Or could I cast it around him? No, nope, do, do, do it, do it, do it, do it. Especially with the horses with you guys. Uh, I forgot that like we're that. on horses. I keep forgetting. Yeah, I, I really want to see back to back on horses. <laughs> uh, well, that that, that, that makes other. it a little less cool. But like, yeah. If you sword burst, you're gonna hit the horses. Yeah, that's too. true. I forgot we were on horses. Like full out. Um, how far are is Harpy that's attacking us? Is um, it in melee I mean, they're, still? They're in melee with you. Oh well, Dread. I can't shoot it either. Then. I, I mean, you can try. I mean, I can't. I guess, yeah. I'll, I'll just blast. I will tell you this. Their AC is not terribly high. All right. Well, here goes attack number one. Oh, they man. The first one was a nat 20. The second one is a 21. That uh, Both of those are going to hit. All right. Well, no, like good. like I meant like the, the with disadvantage. Gotcha. The Sure. Yeah. Um. So we'll roll for damage on that one. 
Uh, so that one is going to take 12 force damage from the first hit. Excellent. Um, and then does a 13 hit hit a harpy? It does. Oh, there we Yay. go. Fantastic. Um, and then that's going to be 10 force damage. Okay. Awesome. It looks very bad. So I've got bad news and I've got good news. Yes. Uh, bad news is I do need you all to make that wisdom saving. Damn. Again. Fuck. God. Patron. Uh, damn it. God damn. That's what. Oh. 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 Thirteen. I'm again? gonna roll my. I'm gonna roll my bardic inspiration. Yay. Excellent. Yeah. Twenty. Do it. Okay. Total of fifteen hey. with the bardic inspiration. Hey, that'll do it. All right, you all have another Thank one you that you're immune to. Yeah, I'm so glad I took proficiency in this. Mm. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Thank and, you. Uh, I got your back. All right, it's gonna be two attack. It's gonna be two harpies on everybody right now. Yikes! I did not reckless last round, so I am normal. You did not, and you can now see that all of the harpies are in combat. Nobody's hanging oh, back anymore. Man. Jackson's grin just keeps getting bigger. Jackson, uh, first attack is going to be a 19, so that's going to hit. Yes. Uh, second attack is going to miss. Damage on that first one is going to be uh, 7. Okay. Second attack. Let's take a look here. Or rather, second harpy is going to only hit with its second attack. Um, which is going to be a whopping two damage. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see here. Mordecai. Yes, sir. And let's see here. First attack is a resounding miss. Second attack is going to be another. I rolled two fours. What the fuck? Excellent. Um, their second harpy. Miss on both. All right. They whiff on both on you both times. Excellent. Zephyr. Um, whiff on, let's see here, first harpy whiff on the first attack. God damn it, seriously? Alright, there we go. We've got one hit on Zephyr, and that's it. And Zephyr, that is going to be five damage on you. Oh, me. Alright, Mordecai, <laughs> you're up. Are you still, are you looking, how, how bad are you, Zephyr? Um... I'm down bloodied? to ni- 19, so yeah, I'm bloodied. Oof. Uh, you're fine for now. Um, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, so there's like, a, between me and Zephyr being side by side, there's four harpies around us, right? Correct. Hmm. I really don't have any good AoE things that wouldn't also murder our poor horses. Um... I'm going to just switch back to the Great Axe, and I'm going to make a Reckless Attack against the one that looks the most wounded. Okay. Um, it's going to be an 18 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, 12 slashing damage. It looks very, very, very bad. That's cool. If I could do anything else, I would. I believe you. <laughs> But you can't. If you because could, it's Jackson's turn. Then you would, baby. You misunderstood. Thank you. It's my turn. It's a good song. Yes. All right. First thing I'm going to do is bonus action mm-hmm. for second wind, which means I need a d10 and nine. Great. So I get fifteen nice. hit points back. Nice. Cool. Um. And now I'm going to make uh, attack number one on the one that should be very close to dead. Okay. Uh, 24. That'll hit. Uh, 12. It did. It did. Okay. Um, and I see, so there, and I see that there's, uh, four harpies around my boys and just one left on me. Correct. Cool. Then, uh, um, what I would like to do is spend my movement to run full tilt to the one to, to join the other two. Okay. You are going to take an attack of opportunity. Absolutely. Okay. AC for that attack is 18. Okay. Uh, that is going to hit. Okay. Uh, that is going to be... Three... Four damage. Four damage. Okay. okay. I will 
take that, and then I'm gonna get get with the boys, um, and then I'm gonna uh, attack the one that's almost dead. Okay. And then try to use that, kill it, and then get in. So it's the three of us. Sure. So you're yeah, that that gets yeah. you. Twenty four. That will hit. Uh, eleven damage. That kills it. Bam. Slice it down. Ride my horse over the corpse. And back. now we have, and now we are back to back to back on horses. Back to back to back. My baby, side to side to side. Anyway. Um. <sighs> oh, there. man, we're making a lot of deep cuts. That's a really deep, that's like, I think, the deepest cut I could make. Um, all right, Zephyr? Um, I think I'm just going to keep on shooting. Um, okay. There's, there's the one that I hit last round. Is he still up? Um. Well... Zafir, there. I mean, it's at full no. That health. was the one that uh, that was the one that uh, Jackson just killed. Okay, cool. The there's one that was in melee with me that is farther away. Oh yeah, Correct. I'll shoot that one. Go ahead and shoot that one. Dope. All right, so that is an eighteen plus six twenty four, and a seven plus six thirteen. Both of those will hit. Fantastic. Ooh, nice. Double sevens. All right, so that is, what, 14 plus 6, so 20 total. Awesome. Very it good. It looks pretty bad. So when I shoot the two, they, like, go out, and they sort of do, like, a cool, like, wraparound spiral thing, like a helix, and then, like, collide and crash into it. It looks real cool. And you blast into this thing, and it looks over its shoulder, and as the last one that can do this, it sings its uh, alluring, discordant song. I need you all to make me one last wisdom saving. Um, that's 18. I rolled a 17. My wisdom save is a 16. Okay, you all save out of it. Cool. The hey, DC Griff, of the, yes, That sir. DC was 11, by the way. But you're all going to take some attacks now. Okay. Um, Please, no. I, I right, was reckless, Jackson. so... Yep. All right, so, uh, Jackson, we're going to start off with you. You've got two on you. The other guys have one each. Sounds good. All right, uh, first attack is a nat 20. Yeah, that's going to hit. Yep, so we've got... All right, that's going to be seven damage on you for the first attack. Okay. Second attack is also going to hit, but that's only going to be four damage on you for that. Okay. And second harpy is going to be... Uh, 21 is going to hit you, correct? Yes. And that's going to be, ooh, wow, max damage on that. That's going to be 9 for that attack. Okay. And, uh, second attack will miss. Okay. Still, still up. Still good. Mordecai, did you, you reckless, right? Yes, I did. All right, so. It gets advantage. First attack is a total whiff. Yay. Second attack is a natural 20. Yes, sir. And so seven damage on you for that one. And Zephyr, both attacks are going to win. Yeah. And Mordecai. Uh, okay. I'm going to just keep this combo going. And I'm going to attempt to produce flame again um, mm -hmm. in a harpy's grill. Sure. I'm going to roll my cool red fiend dice. I love it. That'll be 14 plus 6. Uh, so That'll do it. 20. 2d8 plus a d4. Yeah, buddy. 7, 8, 9. Uh, 11 fire damage. On the one that was attacking you? Yeah. Alright, you deal a healthy chunk of damage to it, but it is still looking alright. Jackson, you're That's up. Alright. All right, I'm, not level, um, I'm not level 5 Barbarian yet. I don't get that extra attack yet. Yeah, you want that one, though. It's nice. I attack the one in front of me that looks more hurt. Mm-hmm. 19. That'll hit. That's a low roll for Nine. you. It, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> nine, uh, 9 damage. Okay. It is injured badly. I'll hit it again. 21. That'll hit. 10 damage. And it's dead. Yeah. Great. I take parry stance mm -hmm. on a horse. All right. Zephyr, you're up. Uh, what's left? You've got one on each of you. Um. All right. So I, uh, I, uh, 
and I vom a five foot uh, by thirty foot line of acid out. So nice. dex saving throw. There we go. I thought you were legitimately right. burping for a second, and then I realized it was in character. Yeah. It... I also had the exact same emotional journey I went on. You said dex. Yes. <laughs> That is going to be a 10. I'm imagining that's insufficient. Mm, yep, yep, yep. All right. Light this motherfucker up. So that's 11 acid damage. Yeah. Ouch. Mouth. All right. It is displeased with its current situation. And they all try to sing at you and then realize that they can't, so they're all just going to attack you. All right. So, Jackson. Let's take a look here. Second AC, is, AC is 19 right now. Second attack will hit at a uh, tw- uh, at a 19. Uh, that is going to be four damage on you. Mordecai. Great. Not reckless. Um, 18 is going to hit you, though, isn't it? Yes. Yes, it will. Seven uh, damage on you. And Zephyr. Okay. Uh, second attack will hit. Five damage on you. Mordecai, you're up. All right. Is there one within melee range that looks bloody? None of them look bloodied. The three that you are fighting all look fairly fresh. I'm going to go for the one in front of me and do a reckless great axe attack. I love it. Natural 20 with the advantage from reckless. Ooh, that's a healthy hit. Uh, 18 points of slashing damage. Nice. All right. Whoosh. Not quite dead yet, oh, but come on, you bitch ass harpies. Very close. Jackson, you're I up. yell at them. <laughs> I I'm gonna step. I'm gonna uh, well step. I'm gonna have the horse take a move. You know the three steps that it needs to for me to be able to reach the one in front of tra- tra- Mordecai. Tra- sure. And I'm going to hit that one. Yep. 23. That'll hit. 11 damage. It's dead. And then on the backswing, I'm going to get the one in front of him. Did the one Saphir just acid die? or is it No, still it's still up. That one's still up? Okay, yep. then I'm going to hit that one. Sure. Uh, That is, in fact, a 7, not that a 1. I... I th- well, no, I rolled, sorry, I rolled a 7. I mm-hmm. thought I rolled a 1, I rolled a 7. Okay. So it's a 16. God damn, yes, that'll hit. <laughs> uh, 10 damage. Alright, it is injured, but not dead. Perry sta- and Perry stands. Zephyr, you're up. Oh, I'll, I'll I'm just shoot that guy twice then. Do it. With Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast is real good. First attack's so only 20 wave. Yep. Second attack is yeah. going to be a 13. Both attackers are going to hit. Fantastic. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's another 20. It is dead. Nice. This one that is drenched in acid gets slashed out real good by your buddy Jackson, and you just do that double helix dragon maw mm-hmm. again. <laughs> and this thing is just blown out of the sky. Leaving a single harpy to attack Jackson. Uh, first attack is going to hit seven damage on you. Seven damage? Okay. Yes. And Mordecai. Mordecai, are you uh, are you fine to just uh, keep making our way? Jackson's got this, right? I'm good! And I'm going to make a reckless swing at it. Yep. Do it. <laughs> Holy shit. Here, moving the phone. Oh no, the, da, cam- da, da, da. the phone is being moved. We are a natural 20 once da, again. Da, da, da. I think it's my third crit this fight. Man. We've rolled a lot of dice. Man, hey, yet. Ryan, advantage on every attack is really cool, isn't it? Isn't it? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Jesus Christ. That's a 12 and a 9. Um, yeah. I don't. I can't math right now. That's so 21. That's 21. Plus three. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. From the great right. axe. This, this <laughs> thing looks very bad. This Why won't here. you die? Jackson, you're up. Kill it! Here we go. 
All right, that's going to be a 13 and a 17. I'm going to be so mad if you don't kill this thing. Both of them hit. <laughs> okay, that is going to be a total of 24 damage. All right, this thing dies. Ooh. The singing finally ceases and the dust settles. The three of you and your three surprisingly mellow horses, all things considered, are standing amongst the sundry corpses of ten harpies cut and diced amongst the rocks. Nice. As we start walking away, I go, all right, trot and have it do like the weird, like when, when it, the, you know, when the horses like, sort of dance prance like kick their legs up real top real high yeah when they just kick them up real high and just like mm-hmm. stomp on them and then we'll leave <laughs> gross i uh i take the minute to cast speak with animals as a ritual and i just mm-hmm. tell all of our horses that they are good boys and girls holy shit he talks he's talking hi hi yeah, it's I been talk. so long how are you, you guys are the best what's up y'all want some i oats? know right we're so cool what were those things those were terrible they sucked they're called harpies you should squish their brains all right smush mush mush oh god it was worse does than he, i thought does he say smush mush <laughs> mush as he does it it's more like <laughs> yeah y'all just hear winnie's coming out of the horses and me all right. I think Zephyr oh, is just like slumped over, just like, like belly to the back of the horse, just like, oh, I am so hurt. Do you need a Do you need a, a little pick me up there, Zephyr? Please and thank you. Well, well, it another. depends. Is there enough traveling to technically take a short rest? If you wanted to take a short rest, you would have to stop. Because I think we should just take a second, guys. Cause, uh, cause it, I don't want to stop either, but I'm pretty beat up. If we take a I'm short gonna rest, a, I'm gonna make I a can... this. I think I think I need to make a wisdom saving throw. All right, do it to see if I if I'm okay with stopping. Fair enough. That's a natural one, boys. We gotta go. I will pump. I will pump a heal into both of you if it means we can keep going forward. I mean, if I if I rest, I get my spell slots back. Zephyr. We need to go. Okay, let's go. Jackson, that is 17 hit points back. Great. Zephyr, that is 14 hit points back. And And that's all my spells for the day. I am at 28 out of 41. I'm going to drink my simple flask of sunshine. Okay. Which is 2d4 plus 2, I believe. Correct. Yep. So that's seven more. Okay, and All then right. Zephyr, I will Do hand I... you a normal. Zephyr, I'll hand you a normal healing potion. I mean, I have a whole bunch. I'm just too stubborn to drink them. All right, fine. Then I will drink a normal healing potion. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm no longer bl- I'm no longer bloodied, but I'm <laughs> still very hurt. All right. But we, uh, we press forward. After about an hour, you round the corner of the mountain to be greeted by a very thin forest. This is nothing like the one that the three of you left to the north. This is a Lumberton, and it keeps its groves sparse and far between. The village itself is plain to see amongst the stands of trees. Small, wooden stone buildings line the roads. They form a neat row, leading to the center of town, A massive building stands at the end of the road where it culminates in a town square, and it splits off into other directions. I need everyone to roll me a perception check. 19. 22. 15. All of you notice that the building before you is very noisy. Uh, Zephyr, what did you roll? 15. 15? Okay. Uh, You notice that uh, the massive building seems to actually have two entrances. One of them is labeled Town Hall. The other one is labeled Sawn Logs, In and Respite. Okay. Because you go and you saw logs because you're snoring, right? Yeah, you got it. You got it. God bless it. I love it when people explain my jokes. Um, That's the whole point of the podcast. (laughs) That's right. Um, Jackson. 
Uh, it seems that the town is well stocked. In addition to the combo building before you, you passed a grocer, a general store, and a blacksmith. But you didn't see anybody else like out and about around town. Um, okay. However, Mordecai, it's you that is pulled up short just as soon as you get to the town center. There's a wagon off to the side. Uh, the labeling on it indicates that it is Mr. Willow's Wonderful What's It's. The paint on it is fresh. That's your dad. We don't know that, though. I mean, they said that he they stole a bunch of paint and ran out of town. Yeah, but we don't yeah, know about I, aliens. I know. This is I, more Zach being like, hey. I, I do point that out, though, because you guys do know about the paint thing. I just kind of just like... And point to the wagon. Guys, why is yep. no one here? Wait, what? Hello? There's nobody out. That, it, uh, you said that the, that the one building was busy, right? Yep. There seems to be people in this building over here. Yeah, but they're all there. They're not... Let's see what's going on. Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. That that wagon looks like, like a merchant's wagon? Yeah. I'm going to walk up to that wagon. Okay. And I'm going to knock on the side of it. Okay. Um, roll me a perception check. Natural 20. Empty. Nobody is inside. Can I look inside the wagon? The door is locked. Can I force it open? You can certainly give me a strength check to try. 19. 19. Uh, yeah, you bust it open. Um, the paint, the wagon is filled with paints, equal parts paint and gizmos. Little metallic wonders. Um, things that you know from your childhood. Your dad was always a tinkerer. He was, you know, he always did it just to kind of keep his hands busy whenever he wasn't, uh, on a mission or something. Um, I little just, toys I just... and gadgets. I just kind of chuckle to myself and mutter, which you guys can probably hear. Eh, it's always a good cover. I turn back outside the wagon. I pull my horse up and uh, face away from the wagon to keep an eye out. And but look, but all but in a, I'm the I'm in charge here. Pay no attention to what the cops are doing. He's here, boys. This is his wagon. Well, that's good. That's good. This is no. This is Mister Willow's wagon. That's. Yeah, just you. If, just don't. If you see, if you see, if you hear about a man going under the name of Willow, that's my dad. Oh, is that his first name? It's, it's a code name. Oh, okay, I understand. And that. if you hear about anybody asking for an Ash, that's me. Okay. You're an Ash. You wait. That's a. If you Why hear we... anyone asking for somebody named Ash, that's me. Mordecai. Yeah. Why are you in your dad trees? We'll get into that. Okay? I promise. I would like to go check out these buildings, please. I am going to cast Disguise Self as my one alley, uh, alias <laughs> Laszlo Sose. Um, there it is. <laughs> Laszlo Sose opens the door to the uh, sawn logs, and the noise triples. The bar is filled to bursting for lunch. It reeks of sweat and beer, as most of the working people in the city seem to be in attendance. A few eyes turn your way, some glaring, but most only seem idly curious. The long inner side of the room is occupied by the bar, with the staircase going up and over it. A few folks are leaning down over the railing, chatting, and watching the three of you pass underneath. However, your eyes, like most in the room, are drawn to the back of the bar, where a stage is set. Normally, such a perch would be the perfect home for a bard. But a shifter stands center stage, loudly and quickly talking about the wonders of his tally-ho tonic. <clears throat> oh, man. I actually have to prop for this one. A pre-war recipe. Designed by my mother's foremothers. Guaranteed to pep you up for any work or any other activities you may find yourself in. It is at this point that the shifter catches Mordecai's eye and winks rakishly. But 
I find the afternoon sun always seems to find my heart. I must take a moment for my own sustenance. Any interested, please come find me at my wagon. Until then, gentle friends, and he bows deeply, and he glides off the stage and then much less gracefully picks his way through the tables that are, like, super close together uh, <laughs> as he's very clearly, like, guiding himself to you, and he stumbles and falls into Mordecai. Pardon me, <clears throat> good sirs. <clears throat> Would you please help me to my wagon out there? I seem to have uh, gone a bit too long without food. Oh, of course, of course, grandfather. Let's, let, me, let me help you. Let me give you a hand. Oh, gracious grandfather, am I... Have I aged that much... You got a little gray in your beard there, old timer. So do you, do all three of you help him out to the wagon? Yeah. Yeah. I stumbled the old fart towards his wagon. All right. The three of you help the shifter out to the wagon. Oh, someone's broken into my wagon. Oh, my, I should definitely come, boys. Help me. Of course, pay you quite well. Damnedest thing, isn't it? I shove him into the fucking wagon. As soon as the door is shut behind you, he turns and he stoops a little bit lower and he, did you really have to break that? Was that really necessary, Mordecai? I thought you might have been inside and undercover, for fuck's sake. I'm trying to find you, you... Mm. I, clearly, I am a he inside. Clearly, I am undercover while I was inside there. D- does he have, like, sleeves on? Uh, he, uh, he does. Show us your arms. Fine. We'll do this now. We're doing this now. Fine. We're doing this yeah, now. And we he came rolls all up, this way. And he rolls up his arms, and up his arm, there are the tattoos that you have become very familiar with. Son of a so, um, A bunch of scimitars going up. God oh, damn it, Well, you didn't cool think that too. was my voice, did you? <sighs> this is a weird thing that we've got set up here. Dad? Zephyr? Jackson? Zephyr? Hi. Jackson? Dad. I don't think that's your father we're currently talking to. You'd be surprised. We're kind of sharing the space at this point. Your mother tells me you're quite aware of the situation. Yep. Right then. What's it gonna be, huh? What do you mean, what's it going to be? We're gonna fix this and we're gonna make it done right. Will you be straight with me for once? No games. No aliases. No covers. Tell me what is going on. Now. It's Mavo. Lord of the Pack. He's acting here. And it's going to be C-34 all over again. Thank you for joining us here on Another Path. You can find our website at anotherpathpodcast.com, on Twitter at anotherpathpod, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash anotherpathpodcast. You can support our efforts by donating at patreon.com slash another path or by giving us a rating or review over on Apple Podcasts or on whatever podcatcher will let you. You can find me on Twitter at TQ Loudly, Ryan at Ryan underscore Albrecht, Griffin at Griffcold, and Zach at that guy Zach Rob. We'll be back in two weeks with a new episode, and until then, remember that it's easy to forget that combat is mounted when you have very good horses. <laughs>